Hi, I'm Ben Pfefferman, host of Esports Unfiltered, where every single day we break down all the stories and scandals in the esports industry. Let's get right to it. There are a gazillion esports events and gaming conferences going on, so if you want to check a few of them out, how do you decide where to go? How do you plan your calendar for the entire 2020? Well, now you have to look no further than this video because in just a few minutes, we are going to break down the top five esports and gaming events that you should be attending in 2020 in North America only. Okay. Next video will be about the world. All right. Right at the top coming up in March game developer conference. Now you might be thinking, well, I'm not a game developer. This doesn't apply to me. No, this is like where all the brightest minds come together. They have a track for really everything in the industry. If you're into the gaming space, if you're casual, if you're esports, whatever it is, there's so much content going on at GDC. It's in San Francisco in March. So if you live in Toronto or a cold country, definitely you want to get out there. Number two, this is kind of an obvious one. And it is a bit of a bummer that Sony has backed out. Uh, and a lot of people have been over the years backing out. Of course, I'm talking about E3. You're breathtaking. Um, no better way to spend your summer to see what the next uh, batch of great games, great announcements that are coming up from all the top game developers. So if you haven't been to E3, like I have, make this the first year that you go and check it out. And it's not going to LA is not a terrible place either. Number three. Evo. Now, yes, it is going to be hot as balls in Las Vegas in July, but this is the one time of year where the fighting game community and the Smash community somehow get together for one beautiful weekend. Okay, really great event to check out. There, obviously, there's very little prize money as per the usual Smash and FGC events. So it's really not about winning the big bucks. Uh, it's about pride. It's about bragging rights, uh, and they put on a great show every year. Number four, TwitchCon. TwitchCon is where all the top streamers come out. This is not an event that you want to miss out on. And what makes it easier for you to not miss out on this event is that you can go to San Diego, which is a cool place. See, the theme is they're all really in California. It's really unfair that all the best shows are in California, but it is what it is. But if California or San Diego don't work for you, there is also TwitchCon in Amsterdam, uh, where you have more of the European and other international streamers. Uh, so that is not a conference that you are going to want to miss. Number five, Fortnite World Cup. Yes, I can't believe I'm saying that because for some reason I'm now part of the elitist, pretentious Illuminati that loves to shit on uh, Fortnite at every possible opportunity, but we have to give some credit where credit is due. And the fact that Kyle Booga, hard to pronounce last name, won $3 million at Arthur Ashe Stadium, made Fortnite a bit big deal, made it a huge event. And I'm really praying that a 15 year old this time can win so that high schools everywhere are going to be screwed because all of the kids will drop out. Definitely want to give a few honorable mentions that didn't make the list, but are really top notch events to go to. Uh, BlizzCon, again, you still got to go to California. You, everyone should really just move to California and catch all the events. Uh, but for some Canadian content, uh, EGLX and DreamHack Montreal, both great shows. So that rounds off our honorable mentions. So look at the websites, plan your calendar, and I hope you join me at attending some of the top five best esports and gaming events of 2020. Thanks so much for watching, and please, I hope you join me at those great esports events coming up in 2020. But in addition, you must follow us on social media at Amuka Esports. The links are in the description below. And please, if you're watching this, subscribe to our channel. Why not? Doesn't cost you anything.